Hey what's up everyone, you're probably aware that OnePlus 3 and 3T have already started receiving Android 7.0 Nougat OT update also known as Oxygen OS 4 and I've been using it for a few days now. So I'll show you what's cool and what's new with Oxygen OS 4 on my OnePlus 3T. Let's start with what's cool. Oxygen OS is just a skin version of Android and it's pretty much stock like with many customizations that favors OnePlus devices. Starting with the home screen, you slide down anywhere for notifications, slide up for Google Now and slide right to access the shelf. Many manufacturers put something on the left end of their home screen and shelf is something that OnePlus came up with. You can basically put any available widget that you want to access here and that's it. You have your own custom Google Now of some sort. You can also quickly know what's the weather like and have a custom message here. Coming back to customizing your home screen, you can apply different wallpapers for your home screen and lock screen separately. Now if you go to customize, here you'll be able to toggle the home screen gestures, customize app icons with the support of third party icon packs and also edit the name and the icon of a particular app too. There was an option to customize the search widget but now it's missing after updating to Oxygen OS 4. Now diving into the settings, you can see a separate tab for customization. The alert slider is basically the hardware slider on the left toggle between silent, ring and do not disturb. Here you can simply customize how each profile is going to work. Coming to the buttons, you have the option to have on-screen navigation and also swap recent and back button to your liking. Each of these buttons can also be customized for a long press and double tap and here's how I've customized it. Weirdly though, I couldn't find any option to toggle the lock button as a camera shortcut. Coming to gestures, there are four different off-screen gestures. There's a double tap to wake, a circle to open camera, a V to toggle flashlight and some music control. I can also flip the device to mute an incoming call and a three finger swipe to take a screenshot which I really appreciate coming from the Galaxy S5. In the status bar you can choose the style of your battery icon and also hide icons that you don't want to see which I believe was in the system UI tuner previously. Going to the display you can customize the color reproduction of your screen and also have the option to choose between light and dark themes and also choose the accent colors. There's also a night mode that filters off blue light for those night owls. Apart from that we have the proximity wake and some LED notification customizations. Under security you have the option to lock apps and these apps cannot be accessed until you authorize them. It's pretty cool because it's built right into the OS and you can keep the pattern invisible to those prying eyes. Under advanced you can enable the pocket mode so that you don't accidentally wake the device in your pocket. And the recent app management allows you to choose between just normally closing an app or completely shutting it off. You can also schedule the device to restart at a particular time but it cannot be enabled if you have set your device to lock itself after a restart. Now let's talk new. The software itself is new. Oxygen OS 4 also known as Android Sample Nougat. The shelf is now improved. It's much easier to rearrange and delete widgets as compared to how it was in Marshmallow. You have more quick toggles to choose from the notification tray and also customize its arrangement already available in Oxygen OS 3.5. There's a data saver to restrict background data on LTE and also a much better battery saving feature called Doze on the go. What this does is basically let apps doze off as soon as the screen goes off. I really like the new design of how the battery stats are shown simply because now I know how long it's been since the last charge. Going to the other new things, you would have already noticed the new settings design and the hamburger menu to quickly navigate to different settings. And also certain information about each setting. You can now customize the display size which many people will appreciate and we finally have the long overdue multi window which is definitely useful for those multitaskers. 
Notifications are more clean and bundled together and you can directly reply to chats, messages, email and choose other options if available. Speaking of notifications, the UI Tuner gives you the option to prioritize notification for each app and also enable multi-window through a screen gesture. The other new thing is that Google Duo got baked into the OS and no, the update was not seamless. Now I don't know if this is new but it's pretty cool. 1 plus 3 equals 4 but 1 plus equals never settle. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you did and stay subscribed for more. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.